So Fox News is going to melt down here over Democrats' proposal to raise taxes on the wealthy. This is great. The wealthy for a moment because Senator Bernie Sanders introduced a bill that would drastically increase increase estate taxes for individuals with estates worth over three point five million dollars. This coming as 2020 hopeful Senator Elizabeth Warren and New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio Cortez have proposed major tax increases on the wealthy. Dagan, does any of this have any shot of of taking place of actually materializing these these pie in the sky proposals? So the, let's break them down quickly. AOC, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, highest tax rate on income taxes. She wants at seven seventy percent for income over ten million dollars. That has that's based in at least reality. Reality that's ugly. It goes back to literally the nineteen sixties. The tax now, rate is thirty seven percent. She wants right. to go to seventy percent. And it was not north of ninety before. And that's um, on income over ten million. Right, yes. but that's that. That was oh, before right. John F. Kennedy and then LBJ actually lower taxes, those those big Democrats. But what Bernie Sanders is doing by tweaking the estate tax is in some way what Elizabeth Warren is trying to do, and that is confiscating wealth. At least Bernie Sanders is operating off the existing tax system in this country. Elizabeth Warren is literally do, trying to promote something that is communist. Yeah, that It's confiscation. Would, that would be unconstitutional, that would never fly. So what does it hurt her to throw out this crazy idea about taking, basically confiscating money from Americans who earned it. Uh, it, it doesn't hurt her because she can throw it out and she knows it'll never go anywhere. Okay, I love watching the business networks. I love it. Whether it's CNBC or it's Fox Business Network or it's Bloomberg because they are oftentimes too honest because they know who their audience is. Their audience is the 1%. That's who watches those networks. It's the 1%. It's not a fucking coal miner from West Virginia. It's not a factory worker in Kentucky. It's not, you know, somebody working a service sector job in California. It is 100% the top 1% or even 0.1% who watches these networks. So they're preaching to their audience here. And the audience hates these ideas. But they go way too far in their criticisms because they know that this is the kind of stuff they want to hear, even though it's not true. So they just said Elizabeth Warren was proposing a communist idea with her wealth tax. You want to know the specifics of this wealth tax? You're going to laugh your ass off. We spoke about it on a recent show, but here, I'll tell you. It's a 2% tax, 2%, on fortunes worth more than $50 million. And a 3% tax on fortunes worth more than 1 billion. Not million, billion. 2% on wealth more than 50 million. 3% on fortunes worth more than 1 billion. You're going to call that communist? I have no words for you. I have no words for you. That's like actual communists are laughing their ass off at this, like, super mild social democratic idea. So let's just add, we should just ask these people, so what's your ideal system? What's it like? Because, listen, to me, it looks like they support either some version of anarcho-capitalism, having, like, no taxes on the wealthy, or they're in favor of a system of rank corporatism, which is socialism for the rich. So in other words, instead of taxing the rich and using that money for important things like education and infrastructure and healthcare and stuff like that. They want to just give massive subsidies to the rich. So in other words, take tax money from working class people and ship it to the top 1% for any of a various number of bullshit reasons like, oh, they need to do research and development or they need to hire more people, so just give them endless money. So that's what, like, this is the underlying assumption here. This is what their philosophy appears to be with their insane attacks on very mild social democratic ideas. They're utterly unaware of this like new gilded age that we live in. Or they don't care. You know, richest six people in the world have more wealth than the bottom 50% of the world. Like 3.5 billion people. Six people, more than 3.5 billion people. You have one family in the US, the Walton family. They have more than like 50% of the country. How's that even possible? Jeff Bezos, one dude, has like $130 billion. 
And now that dude's got a partnership with the fucking Pentagon and he owns the Washington Post and he's like, he controls everything. And the thing that they're mad about is not, oh my God, Jeff Bezos and th these billionaires have way too much power and it's corrupting our entire democracy and it's, the system is so rigged against regular people. What they're mad about is a 2% tax on wealth over 50 million and a 3% tax on wealth over 1 billion and apparently that's fucking communist. You have to understand something. You guys are the dumbasses. I know you look at the left like, mm, stupid fucking, mm, fucking peasants. That's what you are. You're the dumbasses. Oh, this pie in the sky idea. Are you kidding me? The ideas proposed by the likes of AOC, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and the rest of the people on the left, they are actually right in line with the rest of the developed world. With Scandinavia, with Europe, and, and uh, with Canada, and Australia. A lot of these ideas have a history in all these places, and like they even alluded to, in the U.S., the top marginal rate of 70%. That has a history here. Top marginal rate of over 90% has a history here. And that was during what was called the golden age of economic expansion in the U.S., so it obviously didn't have a detrimental effect on the economy because our economy was booming. So, uh, it... Go ahead. Keep preaching to your choir of elite CEOs. Um, and that's how you know they'll never be off the air because they will... <laughs> they will get those subsidies if need be. Even if nobody's watching them, the elite would pay them to stay on the air because this is just... They want sweet little nothings whispered in their ear, the top 1%. And that's the whole point of CNBC, Fox Business Network, and Bloomberg. 